To begin, assess the surrounding area for risks or hazards to ensure the power stack installation can be carried out in a safe and efficient manner. Check there are no trees or overhead power lines that could impact installation or sunlight access. Before installing PowerStack, complete a ground scan to ensure no underground utility services are in the vicinity of the installation site. Take the concrete free foundation plate and attach the three quarter inch bolts, keeping them a little loose so the stainless steel hinge plate can be leveled off later without any alignment issues. Mark out a 24 by 24 inch square, then excavate down approximately four to six inches. Place the foundation plate into the hole, ensuring it is roughly level and squared off into its surroundings to meet project specification. Place the micro piles into the foundation plate. Use a star picket driver to get each of the supplied piles started. Use a minimum 33 foot pound jackhammer to push piles all the way into the ground. Use an impact driver or a drill with the supplied high tensile screws to secure each pile. Add a quantity of four three quarter inch nuts and washers onto the four threaded rods and locate the hinge plate ensuring the hinge is facing the correct way. Tension the three quarter inch nuts to securing the bolts to the foundation using a 12 inch adjustable wrench. Make sure the hinge plate is level and leave around one and a half inches of thread showing above to allow for the winch attachment later. Use the four remaining nuts and washers to secure the hinge plate to the foundation and level off accordingly. Locate the power stack pole and use the hinge pin to secure the hinge plates together. Electrically connect and commission the chosen payload as per the power stack wiring instructions while this adhering to local DC voltage electrical codes, secure gasket and top cap. Place the power gen winch into position, securing it with a quantity of four three quarter inch nuts and washers, tension accordingly. Lock the grip sleeve and rubber protector into position, eight feet above the base, ensuring the tight grip to the power stack pole. Use your battery drill with a 5 8 inch socket to unwind the winch cable, feeding it through all three of the pulleys in the winch system, making sure the correct sequence is followed. Clip the winch cable back into the grip sleeve and secure it with the supplied hardware. Ensure that the power stack pole is elevated a minimum of 15 degrees off of the ground, then simply use your battery drill to winch the pole into a fully upright position. Keep the winch system connected to the pole while it's using three sets of 3 8 inch bolts, nuts, and washers on opposite sides to secure the two hinge plates together. The power gen winch and grip sleeve can now be removed from the power stack system. Use the remaining three sets of 3 8 inch bolts, nuts, and washers as shown to further secure the two hinge plates together. Finally, level off the surrounding ground, filling in the excavated hole. Congratulations, you've completed the installation of a power stack system, providing green infrastructure to your community.